what's up? Um, I just saw The Raid 2, which is, of course, a movie. Uh, and I'm here to review it. Uh, the reason why I, d I don't seem too expressive is because this movie beat the shit out of me. And not, not literally, of course. But it, it just took everything out of me. This movie, just like the first one, is a movie all about action. It's all about violence. It's all about just amazing choreography and some stuff you've just never seen before in kung fu movies or just action movies in general. I love the first movie. It is a great, it's a masterpiece in my opinion. It's a movie I didn't give it enough credit when it first came out. I, I loved it. I gave it a really high score. But really, it is one of the best action movies of all time. It is a classic, in my opinion. So when I heard there was going to be a sequel that was going to be not only longer, much longer than the original. This movie's two and a half hours long. That one was like an hour and 40 minutes. So it's like 50 minutes long. Almost an hour longer. And it was actually going to have more story. It was going to have more violence. It was going to have more action. I was just like, okay. Bring it, Raid. Bring it, Gareth Evans. The director, bring it. I cannot wait. So, of course, I finally got to see The Raid 2 after weeks and weeks of waiting for it to come out in my theater. I finally got to see it. What did I think of The Raid 2? Let's talk about it. Now, I could sit here and explain the plot to you thoroughly, okay? Because there was actually a lot to the plot, which is surprising considering the first movie had a plot, but it was very basic. It was very... Very simple. SWAT team goes into a building to stop a crime lord or whatever and they all get shot up and one guy survives and has to fight all the way to the top and fight the crime lord or whatever. You know, that's, a, that's the story pretty much. There was a little bit more to it than that. But in this movie, it's actually more complicated. You follow, of course, Rama. Rama, who is, of course, the main character of the first movie, who survives the building, uh, all the fighting, all the gunshots and stuff. He, he survives that. And this takes place two hours Two hours after the original film ended, and of course, someone scoops his ass up at the end of the uh, of the first movie and says, "Hey, you're gonna work for me. You're gonna go undercover, and you're going to pretty much become a bodyguard for a crime syndicate. And you have to find out who, the, uh, who, uh, which cops are they paying to, you know, which corrupt cops they're gonna, they're uh, actually paying to, you know, do their dirty work or whatever. So that's pretty much what he has to do. The story, I mean." I, I will say this, the story is actually very well done. It's actually very well told, very well written. Uh, the characters are actually very interesting or likable. Uh, the main guy, uh, played by Iko Awais, I think I'm saying his name right, is actually very, very likable. He's a really pretty good actor for the most part. I mean, I don't speak the language, so maybe they're terrible, I'm not sure. But from what I could tell, he, he does a good job with the emotion and whatnot. And of course the fighting, which I'll talk about later. <laughs> but um. For the most part, the story is actually very well done, but I'm not going to sit here and explain the story, because that doesn't matter. I mean, it does, it's, it's a good story, but that's not what really matters. What matters is the action. Whew. Now, before I get into the action, I should say that I had a really, really crappy seat when I saw this film. Uh, I had a seat that pretty much I had to go like this the entire time. It was two and a half hours of me doing this, so of course when I left the theater I had a headache and I had a neck ache, which sucked. So that was pretty much the only thing bad about this film, is that the theater sucked. Everything else, the action in this movie, oh my god. This movie is filled to the brim, no, not even to the brim, it's overflowing with action. Now, some people might be turned off because the, the Raid 1 didn't have much of a story, like I said, and there was a lot of action. Like, straight up off the, I mean, straight up off the bat, like the first 10 minutes, there was tons and tons of action. In this movie, there's a good action scene in the beginning, then there's about 10, 15 minutes of no action, then action scene, then maybe another 10, 15 minutes. It, it, it kind of does that over and over again, where there's a, a break so you can get some uh, story progression, then a whole big fight scene that's extremely impressive. Some people might be turned off that it's not like the non-stop action of the first film. Me, I liked it because it, it slowed down, you get some story, and then you get a little reward after listening to the pretty damn good story to begin with. You get a badass action scene that's extremely well filmed, I mean so well filmed, like perfectly perfectly choreographed and violent as a mother holy crap this movie is one of the most violent films i've ever seen sorry saw sorry any other bloody horror movie out there so, sorry all those other movies this movie is not only 
action packed, but it is so visceral with the violence. Oh my god. When I, there's a part where someone gets their throat slashed in the beginning of the film. It's really quick. You don't really see it for too long, but that was just like, oh god, ew. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. I, I said it wrong. His throat doesn't get slashed. It's more like uh, uh, they're prying his mouth open, and then, of course, his cheeks start to rip open. So they're just ripping his mouth open. I was just like, oh, God. And this is some scenes where people's legs get broken, and, uh, someone, of course, someone gets their head shot off with a shotgun. There's just so many parts in this film that I'm just like, oh, God. I mean, I was at, at the end, I was just like, oh, God. That was awesome. <laughs> like, that was so good. You don't know how many times I, at the end of an action scene, I went, holy shit. I was so pleased by this movie. And it just, it just helps that the movie actually has a damn good story. And it has a really good ending, too. It has an ending that just makes it perfect to uh, fit in with the next movie. Hopefully will be made very soon. I mean, I know it's going to definitely be made, but hopefully very soon. I absolutely love this film. I really have nothing else to say. It's one of the best action films I've ever seen, and you need to see this film. The Raid 2 is a movie you need to see in the theaters with a bunch of friends or at least a huge audience. Just all the reactions. It's just going to be so good. Oh, God. This movie is awesome. And it has a good story, too, Some with some really good villains, too. I actually really like the villains, too. So, overall, I mean, it's very, very violent, and some people are not going to be turned on by that, but I was. You should know what you're getting into when you see this film. Sadly, I've been hearing that it's not doing very good at the box office, but if it's at your local theater and you like violent movies and you like really good, very well choreographed, brutal as hell, extremely well filmed, and just unbelievable action, you're going to love this film. Go see it. I'm giving it... Okay, I'm going to give it a 39 out of a 40, only because I did feel its length. That might just be because of my neck, you know, I had a neck ache, but it might also be because it's a little too long. I'm not sure, but I'm still giving it a really high score, and you need to see this film. It is excellent. So there you go. There's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, and goodbye.